channel i'm Lori, and welcome to the chatty bookworm today is going to be my tentative tbr for february of course some of this can change you know me i am going to be do participating in some reading read readathons if i can talk so some of that will change of course some of the books aren't here yet that i want to read they won't be here until february february so this is going to be with books I have here. I'll unwrap one of my books like I do. Um, and pick some out of here to give us some idea of what to read. To help us. Um, we'll do the one of the books after. Um, I'll unwrap one of the books after we're done with this part. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi. Again, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing and hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever there is videos up by me that you can watch. So let's get started. Let's see what we get. Hopefully I can find some books up here and I don't have to go out into my other room. Let me see how did I open this last time. I'm still trying to get used to this TBR jar. If you guys don't know, I put some prompts in here. My daughter Hannah made this. Isn't it cute? Well, she decorated it. You know what I mean. Yep, she decorated the whole thing, if you didn't see last month. And last month, I didn't, for this month, actually, I did not do good. But as you guys know, if you watch my video, my mom passed away. So, I just decided that I was just going to read whatever. So, anything that was picked from here probably didn't get read. I'm sorry, but it happened. And, yeah, so. So, let's pick out one. Let's see if we can find some. Um, I can't remember how many said how many I said I could put back, because I could put back a couple of times if there ain't like if I can't figure out a prompt. So okay, so let's go with the orange. Mm, we'll pick out five. Does that sound good? Five. A book, oh, a, I had it backward, upside down. A book with dragons on or in the book. Oh, this might take a while to figure out, huh? You look, I have books over here, so let me look. Nope. I still haven't finished Eye of the World either. I am so far behind. I don't think I'm going to be done with it this month. Nothing on there has dragons. Nothing on here has dragons. I can't find any in a few minutes. We'll just, we'll redo that prompt. Is this a dragon or is that a snake? I'm not sure. This is a dragon. Looks like a dragon, doesn't it? Say if it's a dragon or not. That has to be a dragon, right? That has to be a dragon. So we're gonna go. We're gonna say this is a dragon. We're gonna go with this because I definitely need to read this next month. This is um, Drew's um, does queer reads on um, his I and mean, on his Instagram, and this is for next month so 
Let me see where I'm going to put these. I'll just put them down here. So that's one out of five. Okay, we'll go with this one. Let's see, that's so light. You guys probably can't see. Oh, okay. Features an animal on the cover in the book. Okay, cool. Of course, there's nothing, no, no animal there. I don't think there's any animals on here. Nope. 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 That's... Nope. Of course, ninth house, but I'm reading that now. I should be done with it. So that won't count. Animal, 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 animal. I got 50 million things up here. Animal. Nope, no animal. No animal. No animal. No animal. No animal. No animal. Hey. Percy Jackson and the Sea of... I mean, Percy Jackson and Olympians, the Lightning Thief. Trying to see. No, I think that ain't in months. That ain't no animal. Never mind. Uh, nope. Nope. I don't want to go in my other rooms. I don't want to go into the, what you call it, so. If we don't find nothing with animal on the cover, we're just going to... Forget about it. I don't know what was on here because I can't find my cover <laughs> for the final strength. I think there's women on the cover. What? What lied in the woods? I mean, into one. Hey, this one has birds. Birds. See? Yay! Okay. I know there's other ones, too. There has to be, like... Let's see if this one has... Oh, my God, I can't get it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hellbent. I probably won't get this to this until next month. I really want to read this one. But now I don't know... Oh, here it is. So, I'm going to switch it. But I definitely want to finish Ninth House this month and this one has the wrap the creepy rabbit on it so we'll go with that one stop <laughs> i still want to read unfairly cute i mean unfair yeah unfairly cute whatever a green one this time let's see oh okay this is the one that's holding something so there's a person holding something in the a person holding something in their hands. Let's see what we got. No, she isn't. Maybe this one. Well, she she's holding her magic. Does that count? She's holding that in her hand, maybe. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Well, she is holding her phone. So maybe, what else do we got? He's holding his sword. I really need to start reading my Percy Jackson books. So I think we'll go with this one. Because I, like I said, I really need to read it. I was supposed to read it last month, but I just didn't. I mean, this month, but I just didn't get to it with everything going on. And I know I won't get to it, so we'll fulfill it next month as well. So this one will be for a book with a found family that was supposed to have been done this month. And it will also be a person holding something in their hand. So. Okay, let's go with another one. Pink. 
Like, I have not hardly read anything that I was supposed to this month just because of everything. We're not going to be here that long because I'll, I'm going to do, like, another video later. This is just going to get you guys an idea of some books that I'll be reading. A most anticipated book for 2023. Only James and Helen. Maniac. That comes out the middle of February, so, okay, that was easy. We'll do a couple, how about that? We'll just do some out of here today and then unwrap something. So, let's do a couple more. What number was that? One, two, three, four. So now we're on five. Because I give myself a couple months, so. Let's see, a... A cover that reminds you of your favorite season. Well, I have a couple of favorite seasons. I got spring and I got fall. This one definitely is fall to me with the leaves, the branches, maybe. Anything else up here that, that one doesn't remind me of the fall. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. No. Hmm. I do love. This kind of gives you. I don't know. Would this give you? Actually, I'm going to be reading this this month, so. No, I don't know. Well, I still want to read this one, and I didn't read it this month for uh, a book by an um, indigenous author. But would this be like a fall? Or, well, you get a lot of, in the springtime, you get a lot of thunder and lightning, right? I'll go with this one, I think. Yeah, because I really want to read that. So we'll go with that one. All right. And I'm going to put my most anticipated thing in here so I don't lose it. So that is one, two, three, four. And with the other one, it's five, the one that I don't have a physical yet of. Do a couple of more and then, because I give them in myself two months. So. Then I'm gonna grab a yellow and an orange, and then it will be done. Let's see. A book you thought would be a six star, but didn't get to in 2022. Ooh. Oh. Was Fall Lady Fortune? Yeah, it was this last year. Ooh, it's, uh, yeah. Fall Lady Fortune is definitely one that I thought was going to be a six star and I didn't get to. And I was supposed to read it this month for a book on a prior TBR list. So, okay. Oh, yay. Okay, we're going to pick a yellow and an orange, and then we're going to be done, and then we'll do the unwrapped. So we'll go with, the, ah, dropped it, this yellow, and I want an orange. Is there another orange? Yeah, there's an orange down here. Okay, let's see what the orange is. A book that will take you on a journey. You remember what this one's about. Oops. A rash. Lunatus fate. Does this take me on a journey?
Oh, yeah, yeah. She wants to, she's do, she's desperate to, to um, do whatever it takes to reset her fate. So when a mysterious and charming witch offers to help Callie do just that, she immediately agrees to his plan. Only catch, that plan includes journeying into the deadly Neverland, never ending forest with Isra, 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 which is her ex and also um, the witch's brother, I believe. Yeah, temp Ezra's older, tempting older brother is the witch. Yeah, the woods and everything like that, that's definitely take you on a an, an journey. So we got that. Don't worry, some of these other books that I put, that I was showing you that I didn't pick is definitely going to be on my TBR. You know what? I don't want this one. A favorite author? Let's do something different. Even though Talia Hilbert I do like, but let's do a different one. Let's find another yellow. Just some, I just want something that's different. You know what I mean? Let's see, a book that has leaves, flowers, or grass on the cover. Leaves, flowers, or grass. Nope. Leaves. Flowers. She's got a flower. And I really want to read this. Look at what this one says. Clara Johnson can taught to spirits a gift that saved her during her darkest moments. Now a curse that left her in debt, debted to a ch cunning spirit world. So when a powerful spirit offers her opportunity to gain her freedom, Clara sees the chance. No questions asked. The task, still a magical ring from the wealthiest woman in the districts. district. And it's about a heist. Oh, my gosh, this sounds so good. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. This sounds, woo, baby, nice and hot and intriguing. I'm trying to see how many pages are in here. Cool, it's not that... Only three hundred and forty three pages. And I love this, don't you? It's beautiful. Okay, so this one is flowers, leaves, or what's it called on the cover? Okay. Now we will grab the wrap. Okay, now we got a whole bunch. We got 11 wrapped. I'm not going to be able to grab all these at a t at the same time. So we grab. There's four of them. Don't so try to get all these. We got. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Let's see here. Ten, eleven. Okay, there's eleven here. Let's see. Hold on a minute. Alexa, pick a, pick a number one through 11, please. Mop, Jan. What? <laughs> the freak. Pick a number one through 11, please, Alexa. Here's a number between one and 11. It's two. Two. Okay, which way should we go? One, two. One, two. Which way? Hmm. Go with. 
Hmm, I don't know. Which way should we do it, you guys? I think we're gonna go with with this way. Yeah, we better go this way, right? Man, I wanted to open this one. I was hoping she'd say one. Because this one looks fat. <laughs> but we're going to go this way. Ooh. This one's supposed to be dark and creepy. And I read the first like chapter or two before and it was really good but like I said very dark hell, hell followed with us he's transgender I believe and somebody go I can't remember like I know someone's after him and then he gets taken by somebody else in by somebody it says prepared to die his kingdom is near. 16-year-old trans boy Benji is on the run from the cult that raised him. The fundamental sack. Fundamentalist sack. That unleashed Armageddon and de disseminated the world's population. Desperately, desperately, he searches for a place where the cult can't get their hands on him. Or more importantly, on the bioweapon they infected him with. But when cornered by the monstrous born from the destruction monsters born from the destruction yeah benji is rescued by a group of teens from the local archian lgbtq plus center affectionately known as the alc the alc's leader nick is gorgeous artistic and a deadly shot and he knows benji's darkest secret the cult's bio weapon is Murturing him, murturing, mutating him, excuse me, into a monster deadly, deadly enough to wipe humanity from the earth once and for all. Still, Nick offers Benji shelter among his ragtag, ragtag group of queer teens. As long as Benji can control the monster and use his power to defend the ALC, eager to belong, Benji accepts Nick's terms until he discovers the ALC's mysterious leader has a hidden agenda and more than a few secrets of his own. This looks so good. So, so good. So that's my unwrapped book. Oh boy. <laughs> this is heavy, you guys. Then I'll show you a couple other books that I really, really, really want to get to this in in this month. I'm going to show you really quick because this video is already 23 minutes. So, You guys already know I want to read Blood Like Magic. Just going to show you a couple. Um, of course, un- Unfairly Cute by Talia Hubbard. Oh, Blood Like Magic is by Liesel Sambury, something like that. I want to get to Unseely. Um, The Final Strife, which I don't know what I did with the cover, so I can't read to you what it says it's about. This is a big book. Like, big, big book. So... I can tell you. Oh, here we go. It's the first part of a trilogy inspired by Gundian, something like that, Fork Lord, and our Arabian myths. Arabian myths, maybe? Arabian myths? I'm sorry, I'm totally butchering it. This is a pretty big book. 500 and... Well, some of this is glossary. 570s... <coughs> 577 pages, excuse me. I'll show you a couple of more. Um, my friend Drew, even though I read this, my friend Drew is doing a read-along starting next month of the priority to get ready for the, the other book in the series. 
which I think she's going to be doing like standalones in this world, maybe. I'm not really sure, but yeah. And then I would like to get to a million to one. I know I'm not going to get to all these. I want to read What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. I want to, I'm not going to grab the ones down there because we'll be here all day. And I'm not going to show you all here. Two more I'll show you. I would, I want, I'm definitely getting into this because I was going to read, do this for Kayla's buzzword a -thon. I can't remember if it's like a verb in the, in the title maybe. I can't remember, but I know I'm doing We Hunt the Flame. And I also want to, if I have time, to read The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. So those are just some of the books I would like to get to either in February or March. But I just thought I would show it to you now because most likely I'm not going to get to all these in February. But, okay, right? But do you know what you want to read for February? I know there's only 28 days, so it's a shorter month. But let me know what you might be wanting to read. Um, like I said, some of these are going to be priority because I really want to read The Final Strife. And I definitely want to read, like I said, um, Blood Like Magic. Me and Drew are going to buddy read that. And I definitely want to read Talia Hibbert. Yeah. And uh, also, if I have a chance, I want to read um, Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Otherwise, I'm going to read that in March with and read it back to back, that one and then the next one. The last one, I mean. So, yeah. Let me know, like I said, down below. If you guys like this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, please. And I already told you the rest of the stuff. And until next time, happy readings. Thanks for being awesome. And remember, DNF, DNF, DNF. If you're not filling a book, DNF it. Don't be afraid. And until next time, I'm out of here.